Hey guys, my name is Dylan and I'm with Boston Red Rentals. Welcome to our in-depth series on operating the Red Epic Dragon. Today, we'll be focusing on black shade calibration. Here we have the original image taken out of the red without a black shade calibration done to it. You can see a lot of the noise in the image. Now if we do a black shade calibration, it will find the pattern of the fixed noise, store it, then subtract it out of all subsequent frames. This will leave all the random noise behind. Now with all of the fixed noise out, you can see how much of a difference black shade actually makes. Now let me show you how to calibrate. So to access the black shade calibration menu, first off, you click menu on the top right, you go to settings, you go to maintenance, you go to calibrate, over to sensor, and here we have your calibration capture menu. Um, so you can go in and do your default exposure, whatever it is, um, 148th, or your current exposure, which still is 148th for us right now. You can go all the way up to 1 8,000th of a second if you so desire. Um, so let's try doing a current exposure right now on calibrate. First, you're going to want to click whatever, whichever user one you want. We'll do number one. And you start out and just do start capture. You read through. It may take five to ten minutes. Make sure your lens cap is obviously on and your SSD is formatted. You press OK. Now that the camera is calibrating, I'll give you a couple hints. First off, find a place that is dark, free of dust, and around your optimal temperature for filming. For instance, if you'll be filming in the cold, make sure you black shade in the cold. Second, make sure you have a formatted SSD card, a full battery in the camera, and the sensor cap. And when you're done, press OK. Alright, now that we're done with calibrating, uh, remember that we used user one profile for the calibration and this is saved on the camera. Now let's say if you wanted to use multiple or load up a different one or even save this one to an SSD, what you're going to do is go over to your management tab over here. And now you have four user profiles that are able to have savable profiles on as well as a factory profile. And if you wanted to let's say load this on the SSD, you can go click user one, click over on the arrow, export calibration map file and it will be saved on the SSD. Here. Once that's done, you press OK and it's right over here. And if you have multiples, you can just click on it and apply and it will load it right up. And this is useful if you're on a shoe and you're doing slow-mo and you want to go back to your regular frame rate, you can just plop in this SSD, load up your profiles and you're good to go. In case any of you are wondering what the numbers actually mean, the first set of numbers, 48, is actually your exposure time. The second set is your temperature of your sensor. And then third set is the date and the time. Now that you know how to black shade your camera, let me tell you when you should do it. There are four rules on when to calibrate. Number one, whenever the ambient temperature changes by more than 30 degrees Fahrenheit or 15 degrees Celsius. Number two, whenever you're making a significant change to shutter speed. Number three, whenever you upgrade your firmware. Number four, whenever you change to or from a global shutter mount. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.